Hi, welcome to Survival Defense Lab. Uh, in today's video, we're going to follow the suggestion of one of our Facebook followers who is wondering uh, what would happen if an interior, so the inside doors of a house, uh, were to be shot at, what type of uh, protection they would offer. If you saw our last video, you know that drywall is not going to do much, and I imagine the same is going to be the case with an interior door, but we've got one set up downrange. Uh, we're going to take uh, a wide variety of shots at it and just kind of see what happens and share the results with you. So here's the door. It's a pretty standard interior door that came out of my parents' house after some remodeling. As you can see from this picture, it's just kind of two pieces of laminate wood around a styrofoam core. So of course you're not going to expect uh, much protection from a door like that. But I took five shots at it. The first one with the 22. Uh, the next one was with a 9mm, both a full jacket and a hollow point. So we got those two shots there. And then I took your standard AR-15 5.56 round, put that in there. And then finally some target shot out of a 12 shotgun. And these are the results. This is the front of the door, as you can see, pretty much what you expect. And on the back of the door, what you would expect also. All five shots went through the door. Um, and as you can see, it just doesn't offer much protection. So what does this all mean? Well, like the conclusion we came to in the first video with the drywall, interior home construction is not designed to stop bullets. Big surprise, I know. It can provide cover, it can help you hide, but it's not going to stop ammunition. So when you're making ammunition choices for home defense, it's important to take over penetration into account and look for ammunition like hollow points that won't over penetrate a target and end up going into a part of the house where you don't want bullets going. So, if you have any suggestions, any comments, any questions, let us know below. Thank you for watching Survival Defense Lab, and as always, stay awesome.